Alright, in this video cheat sheet, we're going to be configuring Cisco Express forwarding for IPv6. We're going to start off with a baseline show command of show IPv6 Ceph to see if it's already been enabled. Then we're going to uh, do a debug command, debug IPv6 Ceph events, so we can see how things unfold as we configure Cisco Express forwarding for IPv6 on a router. And then we're going to finish up with a verification show command of show IPv6F to see what's changed. So let's look at the network topology. We're going to be enabling IPv6F up here on router 1. It's already been enabled throughout the rest of the network, but we're only going to be looking here at router 1. So let's get started. I'm going to show, start off with the show IPv6F command, just like I said in the introduction. And as we can see, IPv6 Ceph is not running. So let's turn on our debug. We're going to do a debug IPv6 Ceph events. Let's get that put in before we make any changes. And now we're going to enable IPv6 Ceph on router 1 and you do that with the in, in configuration mode you do that with the IPv6 Ceph command. So that's how you enable IPv6 Ceph on a Cisco router. And uh, we've got, we got a little bit of output here, not a whole lot because there's, there's not a whole lot going on for Ceph. We haven't enabled any routing protocols or anything like that, so there's not a lot for Ceph to build its tables on. But we see here that uh, we've got some stuff going on. We've got some Ceph spawning. There's some background processes, so we know that it's probably up and running now. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this debugging with the unall command. And now let's go back and do a show IPv6 Ceph to see if anything has changed. And now where before we didn't have anything or actually we received the IPv6 Ceph not running command, we now have um, a bunch of information here because there were interfaces that were configured with IPv6 therefore um, Ceph has put those uh, interfaces and the associated IPv6 addresses in its Ceph table. So that's all there is to it. That is how you enable IPv6 Ceph on a Cisco router. CEPH stands for Cisco Express Forwarding, therefore it is a Cisco proprietary uh, mechanism. So we started off with our baseline show command of show IPv6 CEPH, where we saw, we saw that it was not enabled yet. We then enabled our debug IPv6 CEPH events command to watch things unfold, and then when we enabled Cisco Express forwarding or Ceph for IPv6 we saw some output from our debug command and then we finished up with a show IPv6 Ceph command and we saw that the Ceph table had been built with some locally connected routes that were already configured on the router and as we progress through our video cheat sheet series, um, especially when we get to the OSPF v3 video cheat sheet series, we will see even more routes in our IPv6 Ceph table.